Hello and welcome to Spiral Lane Productions. Today we're taking a closer look at magic and how it works in Metal Tales Edge of Grit. So let's see how that goes. Hello and welcome to another video of Metal Tales Edge of Grit. Today we're discussing magic and how it works in Metal Tales Edge of Grit. So in this game, we've got um, modular magic. This means that spellcasters can unlock shapes and effects and combine them together to produce um, many, many different uh, spells. So I'm gonna demonstrate a few scenarios and uh, showcase how magic works. Uh, and so we have a list of shapes uh, like barrier, uh, bolt, armor, enchant, Blast, uh, wall, wave ring, all these are different shapes. And then you have a list of effects, we call them variations, and you unlock them one at a time. The first variation, the second variation, the third variation, and then you combine these effects with the shapes. For example, you can have the uh, fire effect, uh, an effect that causes fire damage. So you can have a fire damage effect and put it on a bolt, you have a fire bolt, you put it on the armor, you have a fire armor, you, go, you put it on the barrier, you have a fire barrier, and so on, and so forth. And so the spellcaster has infinite choices, and he can use those spells as actions or reactions to produce unlimited effects. Um, let's see how that works. So, a very simple example is that the spellcaster uh, combines a fire bolt effect. So. He just rolls the dice, he rolls a 16, and now the character in defense can roll to dodge the spell or block it with a shield. If he fails, he suffers 16 point, points of damage. This is very simple. Now, uh, another variation of the same effect using a different shape. The character attacks, he rolls a 15, and the spellcaster uses a fire damage and a barrier effect as a reaction creating a, a shield of fire that causes damage upon impact. The effect doesn't change, it doesn't stop the attack, but it just adds 11 points of damage to the attacker due to the effect of the fire. This is very uh, simple. Now, uh, that was a bolt and a barrier. Let's try an armor of fire damage. An armor of fire damage is something that the caster sustains so now he has an active spell that he sustains so every time another character attacks in melee he's going to automatically suffer fire damage upon melee contact regardless of reaction because it is an active spell another example is to use fire damage and a wall effect so now we have a firewall so every time the character crosses the firewall is going to suffer fire damage automatically without any necessary action or reaction from the caster and so you can see the different variations of the same spell um, so you can use many many effects with many different shapes let's forget about the fire spell and try some wind magic so wind magic is usually meant to control people push them away uh, of course it can damage as well it can suffocate targets but it's mostly controlling and so same scenario um, a wind bolt effect will push this character away, so we roll the dice, we roll an 11, and so you can push this character 11 tiles away. If there's no more distance to go, he will suffer the difference in damage. Um, similar effect, when a, when a fighter attacks a target, the spellcaster can cast a barrier of wind to, to dodge the attack, to block the attack, and push the character away. So for example, if this character rolls a 5 for attack, the spellcaster rolls a 16 for defense, 
he stops the attacker and pushes him back 16 tiles away. It's the same principle. Again, if he casts a spell, an armor of wind, that barrier stays active and every time the character is attacked, he must overcome a passive defense or be pushed away. The same goes with a wall of wind. The caster creates a wall of wind and in order for a, another character to cross the wall or shoot a missile uh, towards the caster, he or she must overcome the wall's power. So the wall automatically uh, creates a layer of defense. Um, but also there are more um, uh, shapes uh, apart from the wall, the bolt and the body and the armor. You can also use the uh, shape called enchant. Well, what this shape does, it, uh, you put a spell effect on a weapon and it has an additional effect to the normal attack. So for example, uh, if you have this archer here and he makes the attack against the fighter and he rolls a six, the spellcaster reacts and he wants to enchant the bow with fire damage uh, and so the bow inflicts an additional uh, fire damage upon attack. You can use that for the wind spell and uh, the arrow would hit the target and also push him away. There are endless combinations and so it is easy to calculate um, the effects uh, of spells against targets, especially with the elements, the fire, the thunder, the ice, the wind, uh, it's very common, but you can also do many more creative things. For example, you have, uh, let's say you have the spell effect of light and um, you are in a dark room and the archer wants to shoot an arrow towards a target that he cannot see. The spellcaster can cast a reaction spell uh, of a light barrier to help or he can create a wall of light and in the dark room any creature that crosses that wall will be illuminated for a small uh, duration and that will help greatly so this is more or less a concept of modular magic you have many elements you have 10 spell books each spell book has 10 spells and each spell is compatible with 10 shapes so there are infinite spells you can cast spellcasters are extremely creative and useful and powerful and now in Metal Tales Edge of Grit we don't have the concept of limiting spells um, anything that happens in game has a uh, high risk high reward mechanism so for example if you cast a spell you must roll, if the spell has a risk of 1, if you roll a 1, you fail, it's like a critical miss, but some stronger spells have a risk of 5, for example, so if you roll 1 to 5, is again a critical miss. And so what that means is that the spellcaster is encumbered uh, according to the uh, number of spells he or she has active. For example, if you sustain a wall of fire for, let's say, five points of risk and then you want to sustain an armor of fire as well or an armor of wind i don't know that is an additional let's say two points of risk for example then you have an active risk of seven so if you roll anything from one to seven is an automatic failure if you fail twice in the same round all the enchantments are gone and you lose your focus so if the spellcaster wishes to have five or six active spells is going to be very difficult to do anything else and uh, so you have this uh, to balance out everything you don't need to limit spell casting so this is an idea of magic in metal tales edge of grid let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions in the comments and i will gladly answer everything i can so um, i hope you enjoyed this i'll see you next time take care